please welcome Will Healy. All right, Coach, welcome to town. I know the last seven days have been kind of a roller coaster for you from wanting this job to seeing it almost land in somebody else's hands to it coming all back around for you. What has it been like the last week? Well, I've got to give a lot of credit to my wife for putting up with me the last seven days. Uh, it has been, you know, I mean, um, I think emotionally you go through all the different types of emotions where uh, obviously you're, you're excited for, for Charlotte and landing an unbelievable coach and, and you feel like you're out of it. Uh, but, you know, you're also really excited to have a great job at Austin P and know what you can do with that group coming back. And then all of a sudden the whole thing come, comes all the way back around again. And, uh, you know, you feel like a, a job that you consider a dream job may actually come to reality. I mean, today has been like a fog, you know. I mean, I sit here and look at this field and have a chance to talk to that group and walk through those facilities and think there's no way they hired me to be the head football coach here. You know, it, it feels like a dream. And uh, this is a special place. I was, in, I was in love with this place well before I knew of the administration, well before I knew of the facilities. Uh, I thought it would be an unbelievable city to bring my wife and our kids to. And, uh, and then coming on campus, you're shocked at how beautiful it is. And then, you know, you meet Mike and Chancellor Dubois and, and see the football facilities, and you're saying this would be a dream come true. So, special day. I love every single one of you. I am so proud of you. I am, I One of the words like I've seen associated with you the most as a coach is culture. What is the culture you want to bring here and why is it so important to build the program? Well, I think family is a huge part of my culture. Um, and, and being able to incorporate Emily and Eli and, and uh, our second one on the way into everything that we do, to make sure these young men understand that it's a heck of a lot more important to be a, a good husband and a father than it is to be a good football coach. Uh, and that you can be great at all three, I think is really important in the landscape of college football nowadays because so much of it is who can grind the longest and, and who can work the most hours versus uh, who can try to make sure that we're teaching these kids more, more than just football. Uh, I think positivity, energy, passion, enthusiasm are all things that we're going to build this program around. Uh, I think a chip on your shoulder uh, is, you know, obviously I've got it. I know I look like I'm 12 years old and nobody takes, takes me seriously. So. For, for me to always keep that chip on your shoulder and make sure that you still have a lot that you can prove. Our kids will be the same way, and uh, we got a hidden gem here that we can sell to recruits and coaches that uh, can make this place really special. Your new AD, Mike Hill, told us a couple weeks ago he wanted somebody that could plant Charlotte's flag in Charlotte in terms of recruiting. What do you see from this area with recruits, and have you have you had any experience in Charlotte with recruiting? You know, we've recruited Charlotte a little bit. I know that. Charlotte and North Carolina have great high school football, so that's exciting. You know, you're surrounded by some great players. Uh, so for me, it's about establishing relationships, making sure that the high school coaches around here understand there's open access uh, that, you know, whether it's a meeting, whether it's a practice, uh, you know, whether it's our staff going into their high schools, that we show we care enough to start here and, and you know, it starts and stops in Charlotte for us, and then you start to expand from there and recruit the rest of North Carolina, then you expand. Uh, North Carolina's got plenty good high school, plenty enough good high school football players that we can win championships with. So uh, we got to start here. We got to make sure that people know our staff, that people understand our culture, and whether you know we're, we're honest with coaches. To me, you're always going to have some coaches that are going to say they don't recruit our school enough. For me, if there's a guy who is good enough to play here that meets our culture and meets our expectations, we need to keep them here. Uh, and that the high school coaches always, they may not agree with your assessment, but they always know your assessment. You're upfront, you're honest, uh, and, and that there's uh, you know, a really good relationship among all high school coaches around here. So that'll be important. That's a you know, first 30, 60, 90, and it'll never stop while we're here. We gotta have, we gotta lock down Charlotte first. You seem like a big picture guy. Big picture, this place, this stadium in five years on a fall Saturday. What are we looking at? Could be really special. Um, you know, I, I think the whole thing about this place, the cool part about it is it is a place of growth. You know, I mean, you're talking about a place that three or four years from now should be the largest university in the state of North Carolina. You're talking about a program that's got concrete all the way around, expecting growth and expecting to build on. Uh, you're talking about a head coach that's only done it for three years that needs to grow as well. So, um, you know, the, the whole thing is about making sure that this program, this university, and, you know, me and my staff, that we get to the next level and we continue to grow and we make this the best place in the country for a student athlete experience and to live, work, and play every day.